character encoding is very important. That's because we have many different languages throughout the world, and those different languages like Arabic and Chinese, they have special characters associated with them. Now, we also have other symbols that we have, such as the pound symbol, the ampersand, and so forth. These characters should ideally be escaped. Otherwise, you may get unexpected results printed out in the browser. So for example, if you wanted to echo out a string that contained the pound symbol, well, you shouldn't really type the symbol in like this. What you should do is you should escape the character. Now, typically the way you would escape the character is you'd start with the ampersand and then you'd say pound and then you would end with a semicolon. This is in fact an escaped character. If I save this now and hit refresh, you'll notice what it produced was the pound symbol. So I didn't produce the pound symbol in and of itself. I simply converted it into an escaped character. Now that's the safest way to do it and that will ensure that you have consistently rendered that symbol in your text correctly. And if you don't do that, some browsers may misinterpret what's being given back and you can get all kinds of funny numbers and so forth. And that's a big issue. Likewise, even with the ampersand on its own, you should escape the ampersand by using ampersand AMP and then end with a semicolon. Now if I save that and hit refresh, you'll notice it produced the ampersand symbol. But that character has been safely escaped and that output will be the same in all browsers. Now, this is available in the older versions of PHP. There's nothing new that I'm doing here. However, in PHP 7, we have a new way of escaping characters. Now, if you'd like to use the new Unicode character encoding, then what you can do is first of all, type in the backslash, then a U, and then open and close the parentheses. And within the parentheses, you will need to type a hexadecimal code and that will produce a symbol. So what does this mean? Well, the backslash U tells the PHP compiler that we want a Unicode escaped character, hence the U. So what is Unicode? Well, UTF-8 is simply a very large index, a large list of all these different characters that we can apply. And it's now a standard. So we have, let's say, the basic Latin characters, let's say A to Z, and also the numbers zero to nine, and you have all sorts of symbols as well within the standard Latin language. So they are the English speaking languages, their range is zero to 127. Likewise, you could have Latin 1 supplement, you could have extended Latin, there's even more. Then you have all of these different ranges, and you can see the ranges right here. And between those ranges, you can have special symbols to do with all kinds of things, whether it be Greek, or whether it be some kind of mathematical operators. For example, if we take a look at mathematical operators, you can see that we have all these different characters and we can see the hex code. That's the actual code that you need to stick between the parentheses in order to produce that symbol. So if I wanted that upside down looking A character, I type in 2200. So I can copy the hex code, I can paste this in, and then I can refresh and you'll notice we get the upside down character. So we have all of these different ranges. You don't have to escape all of the characters, for example. I mean, you don't need to escape, you know, P and Q and R, you can just type those out. But when it comes to special things like the tilde symbol and also the parentheses, again, you may want to escape those characters. So it's definitely worth Having a look at this, UTF-8 is a really big topic. Hexadecimal values, again, are a really big topic that is out the scope of this lecture. But the point is, those hex codes will produce those characters. So that's what's happening here. So you can go ahead and escape certain characters, and it's actually the safest possible way to make sure that the content that you're giving out is rendered correctly across multiple browsers in multiple areas of the world.